If a flight attendant had done that, they would have had Jesus and God at the plane. Good morning. We are going to work today. Good morning. Good morning. Him along and try and do a little bit of filming. So I will see you guys once we get to the airport. All right, we are on the plane. I don't know if I told you all that I am working to Houston today, and that should be a short, uh, about two hours and 23 minutes. And I'm going to deadhead back home. So I should be back because right about now, I think it's like about 10 after 5 this morning, in the morning rather. Um, I should be back home about 1 o'clock and the captain, see this empty plane? I think we have maybe, if I'm not mistaken, I think there are maybe 9 people on this whole flight. The captain got stopped this morning because he had a temperature from what I was told so they are looking to get another captain to fly this bad boy so hopefully he will be here shortly and we can get out of here um, but overall everything the climate and everything has changed so drastically that pretty much we're not doing any pouring of any products or water. We're giving out individual waters now, which my company never gave out individuals. So, um, and we just have just regular little packaged snacks, which they can open themselves. Um, so there's no food. It, we are really limited on what we're going to be doing. There's no ice. There's no coffee or tea is to be made unless you're making it for the crew. Um, that's it overall. Um, nothing really eventful. I will possibly check back in once we get everybody on the plane, all nine of the people that are going to be on here. And keep in mind, I am on a 737-900, which is pretty long. It's a pretty big plane. Um, but I will check back in with you guys shortly. Um, and have a great Sunday for those of you this is a Sunday um, do some meditation pray something all right I'll see you guys shortly okay guys look at this empty plane this is what we're taking out to Houston this morning again as I keep saying I guess this is the new normal now at least for a while. I'm not angry about it. It just means less work that I have to do um, and that the passengers will get a little bit more, I guess kind of one-on-one -on -one service. All right guys, I will see you when I get to Houston. Okay, as you can see, I have made it home back to Chicago. Um, and I just want to end out this vlog two hours late. Our flight was delayed from Houston back to Chicago due to severe thunderstorms in the area and lightning strikes. So we had to wait. But quick story. I wanted to tell you we were delayed an hour leaving out of Chicago. I don't know if I told you guys, but they crew scheduling the captain that was originally supposed to be flying the trip he called out sick and crew scheduling called in another captain to work the flight this captain said that he was late getting there at seven because he didn't know what time we were leaving now last time i checked when crew scheduling calls you they give you your gate, flight, and all of that stuff. 
And I said, now if a flight attendant had done that, they would have had Jesus and God at the plane. Okay, ready to kill us about being late. But that's neither here nor there. I hope you guys enjoy your Sunday. I'm going to enjoy mine. If you like the content, I'm trying to work on get, bringing better content, more content, and quality content. So bear with me. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Yolanda Flies.